everyone. Thanks for joining me today as we talk about the Zentech Tools site work profile. As with all of our tool sets and profiles, the site work profile contains nine different pro, uh, tool sets, each with their own individual tools inside of them. I'm going to be going over all of these tools, some of the basics uses, along with the layers and custom columns that go along with them. Let's start with the basic site work uh, demolition package up here. So first off, we have our demolition of area. So it's just an area takeoff tool. We just set the scale here. We'll just do one to 10, even though that's inc incredibly incorrect for this drawing. We'll do a demo line up next, just so you guys can see what that looks like. Demo object. This is just a count object within Bluebeam. Demolition of volume. So that goes over the demolition tools. We have excavation tools here, which contains several excavation tools. Uh, most of these are the same, so I'm only going to be going over one of them. Uh, these are all volume tools. So two inches of topsoil stripping will give you the cubic feet of these. And as with Bluebeam, uh, you can actually change all of these as well. If you want to change this from cubic feet to cubic yards, you certainly can do that as well within the measurement properties. And we'll do an 8-inch topsoil as well. We also have just a simple basement excavation tool, which is already predefined with a depth of 10 feet. Again, should you need to change this, you know, maybe this needs to be at 12 feet instead, all the math is going to automatically calculate. We also have trent, uh, trenching. With a standard depth of four feet. Uh, however, with all of these tools, when it contains a question mark, that basically means please edit the label. So this will be four feet. Again, the default option is four feet. However, you can change the defaults. And we have a footing excavation as well. Again, you can change uh, the depth and the type as well. We have linear tools for different types of sanitary pipe. So all of these have different line thicknesses. So four inch, 12 inch is going to be a little bit thicker of a line. Change the font size a little bit smaller on that one. 18 inch. and 24 inch. There's more of them in here. We have eight different tools, uh, or actually seven, I apologize, uh, for different types of sanitary piping. We have count objects for any type of sanitary structures. So you can just count on your drawing with all of these. We also have our paving and landscape tools, but we have just a basic two inch asphalt and four inch asphalt as well. We also give you guys some aggregate tools, eight inch and 12 inch. They're just gray boxes. We opted not to include any labels in these because these are typically underneath our paving, just so the labels don't overlay on top of each other. Uh, the best use for these two tools, if you use the dynamic fill tool in Bluebeam, uh, that allows you to place multiple takeoffs um, on top of each other. 
uh, with one, it's just a few clicks. We add just a basic mill and overlay of two inches. Saw cutting. And some area takeoff tools for landscaping. So we just add a basic grass lawn and sod. Up next, similar to the sanitary structures here, we have storm pipe tools. So again, these are all within different sizes. So we, I just placed down a 12 inch to a 24 inch as well. 42 inch, I'll do an actual one over here. So that line's quite big. Um, and you know 48 will be this particular paper size is pretty small and should you want to change any of these sizes again everything is customizable this is just going to give you a good baseline for you to start so instead of having a line with a 42 maybe you want to change this to 10 make it a little bit more readable you of course can do that with all of these tools and then we have storm structures. These are all count objects with the exception of this retention pond. So 24 by 48 catch basin, just a count object. Uh, just an inlet type A. Again, you can change this in here should you want. You know, maybe instead of inlet type A, change this to inlet type E. Um, when you start doing that takeoff. Type B. 24 by 36. And 22 by 36 right here. And 48 by 48. We have just basic storm manholes. Place one of those. Just placing them randomly on our drawing here. Starting to run out of space up, up above. And any type of specialty structures. Outlet structures as well. And here is our volume tool for a retention pond. And... Just because I'm doing some of these as a rectangular or a square, uh, they don't need to be. So if you have a retention pond that looks like that, you certainly can also do customizable shapes. We have a linear sheet for any type of water pipe. Again, most of these are pretty much the same. I'm only going to be doing a couple of them. Start doing them over here now. Again, just half inch. Four inch is going to be a little bit thicker. And then eight inch. Last but not least, we also have different types of water structures such as valves, bends, and T's. So place these on our drawing here for us. So there's the valve. Here's our reducer. Here's our water bend, water T, fire department connection, hydrant, water meter, elbow, any type of water storage tanks you may have on your site and any type of water pumps. Now, as with all of these Zentech review tools, these also have built-in layer functionality as well. If I go over to the layers panel over here, start turning on and off different layers. So let's start with water structures. And our pipes up there as well.
Get rid of some of our storm pipes as well. You see all my green that kind of went away. And our storm drainage. Now, as with all of these tools uh, that we sell, we also have custom columns, uh, which include some pretty neat drop downs for all of these tools. So, if you open up your markups list, and I actually have to import the columns here because I already had an old set imported on this plan. Let me just load these real quick. This is how you would do it as well if you already have, if you don't see the, these custom columns here, if you don't see them on your drawing, you would import them. So our storm pipe here, we could select a drop down for down at the bottom of my screen right here, you know, maybe class three. Uh, you could also include a detail and call out, you know, maybe this is, uh, you know, 10 on C-1. You know, what kind of t pipe type this is. PVC for this may be storm pipe, even though that's most likely wrong. And a unit price. So maybe this is $8 a linear foot, and this will do the calculation for you as well. That goes with some of the other tools as well. So let's look at our water tools up, uh, up here. So you'll notice for our water lines, you can't actually select an RCP class or a PVC type. However, you can select a pipe type again if you want to do copper and maybe this is two dollars a linear foot again it will do any type of calculations for you other than that that does explain some of the basics of our uh, Zentech review tools site work package if you guys have any farther questions feel free to reach out to us via email our website or call us. We would be happy to answer any questions for you guys.